There is hundreds of free satellite TV channels on the C-band system. I'm doing an unboxing video of my C-band satellite dish. Bo the cat is gonna help out. It's a thing of beauty. It's a black C-band satellite dish with, with mesh, black mesh panels. Oh! There's another piece. It's actually surprisingly, to hold this uh, plate in my hand is extremely, like, there we go. In the satellite box, the last thing there is, is the four poles. So I took down my solid black C-band dish to uh, replace it with a mesh dish to see how the mesh dish would perform versus the solid dish. The pole that I had for the C-band dish needed to be, was just about six inches. So to get the mesh dishes pull into that pole with concrete, we needed to cut off the edges that would prevent it from blowing in the wind so it would fit in the pole perfectly. You get a dry we got it nice and plump. Make sure it's level with your pole before you put your dish. Let the concrete dry. So as you measure your, uh, your true south, find a piece of wood that will allow you to keep your compass a few, about a little over a foot away from the pole so the magnet in the middle of the pole will not affect it. And try to get your compass set to true south. You can mark them both down on your pole. You'll need that for reference points while you're adjusting your azimuth. So it's good just to mark it off before you take the pole down, just so you know exactly, get an idea of where your south point is. So there's a few clamps, some bolts, smaller nuts and bolts. Through there. It's a little tight sometimes, but you just thread it through and it'll go through there. That was much easier than doing that one. That's much easier than doing that one. Line that up. With a washer between each side, with that little uh, bolt that pushes it up. So I put those three bolts in the mount and uh, got the actuator on plate of the dish because I gotta it's this one's a tricky one where the manual I, it's it's a little interesting okay we've assembled the dish now the one hard thing which I wasn't expecting is the poles I had no idea like how to bend them the right way so we're just gonna try to get them adjusted the right way because I don't want to be up on top of the pole trying to figure this out so we're just gonna take a look at that we're trying to figure out how to get these on I twisted the wrong part of the pole, so it kind of got bent over here. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully we can get the L&D centered. screws uh, instructions should be there in the back of the covers of where you need to put your wires and uh, there's a little rubber thing here that so you have your power cables coming in here and you're right there and you just run it there and make sure before you thread everything through that you got this protector on first the thicker wires are the electrical ones and the thinner wires are the reed sensor ones Attach the LMB and I just have a temporary wire running down from the LMB to a receiver, my Amico Mini. I'm on 91 West and the light TV is giving me about 20 to 30%. Now I just probably need to change, mess around with the azimuth. This is my true south, my uh, Zenith satellite or my most 
uh, satellite that is the most highest in the arc. Okay, and now we have a working mesh satellite dish. For more information about Free Satellite TV, please go to freesatellitetv.net and please subscribe to YouTube channel. Follow me for more videos on this topic.